Hello my lovely Leos, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then please leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video and it will also help my channel grow, which I'm really trying to do. This is a love reading for you Leo, so if there's... Um, Anything else that you would like me to do a reading on? Love, love, love. This is a love reading. Money, career, health, anything like that, then drop a comment in the comment box below and I'll see what I can do. So let's get in with your reading. Angel Spirit, guys, what's the message for our lovely Leo's love life today? Okay. So your message today is don't let pride get in your way. So the energy that I'm getting from this one is that for some of you, um, you are in a little bit of a separation with someone right now. Um, and it's kind of one of those things like, well, I ain't apologise until they apologise. I ain't doing this until they do this. I don't think I've done anything wrong. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of thing. I think it's a bit like that. And it's like, well, it's going to take one of you to um, actually kind of swallow your pride and reach out because you don't want to lose something that could be the best thing in your life that's the message that the time just received you do not want to lose something three of swords that could be the best thing in your life okay so if this person is someone if you take away all that pride, it's someone that you really want to try again with, then um, reach out. Six of coins. So you've got the three of swords and the six of coins here. Oh, what's this one? I don't read reversals. Five of coins. Oh, wow. Oh, Leo. Oh, my lovely Leos. Five of wands. Oh, God. Okay, let's get into this. Brace yourself, Leo. Brace yourself. Okay. Three of swords. So whatever it is, was there was heartbreak. There was pain. Between you and your person, there was some pain. Either both of you or one of you caused it. Um, and it hurt a lot. Or you hurt someone a lot. There was a lot of heartbreak here. And um, I feel that it's a bit, the energy is split. So for some of you, you were the one that had the heartbreak. You were the one that were hurt. I feel for some there was cheating, but uh, I don't feel that was it. There was something else. There was something else that broke your heart over this situation. And for others of you, you were the one that broke the heart and now you're regretting it. You're realising what you lost. But you don't want to lose face. I feel, I feel for some of you, with this three of swords, someone broke your heart. And you want to give it another go and you want to forgive. And you want to try again. But you're scared that if you get in touch with them, like they're going to have all the power. And it's like it gives them, it gives them um, reason to keep hurting you, and that's what you're scared of. So you've got the six of coins as well. So the six of coins about giving and receiving. I feel that for some of you, you gave more than you received, and it got to a point where you couldn't give any more. And then when you stopped, they got rid of you. I feel for some of you that's what happened and that's what hurt because you give so much of yourself to this person. You give them everything. You give up things. You give up people for, for this person. For them to kind of like... I don't know what it is. I, I can't read if it's cheating or some other kind of deceit. But they deceived you in some way. And you feel like I gave you everything. I let go of everything for you. And this is how you repay me. And as you can see, like she's giving and giving and giving and all these hands are doing is just take, 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 take. 
but you do feel that you've lost something because you felt like this person, your person was, was the one. Either you feel guilty for the deceit that you did or you feel like, was it a one-off? Was it this? Was it that? You feel at a big loss. And you're looking at those four coins, realising how much you lost, not realising that behind you is one big coin. And it is causing you a lot of pain here. I feel it. I feel, I feel that pain. I'm really feeling that pain. They did something or you, I feel they did something or you did something that broke their, they did something that broke your heart. You felt you gave them absolutely everything. You gave up stuff for them. You changed, maybe you changed location. You moved closer to them. You gave up family, friends, or gave up jobs that you liked so you could be with them. You gave up everything for them. And all they done was took, 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 took. And you feel like, you just feel at a loss. You feel like you don't know where to go. And then you've got the five of wands, all about conflict. There's a lot of conflict in this. There was a lot of anger and arguments and... It just wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. You, I don't feel you felt heard. I don't feel you felt heard. Okay. All right, what have we got? You've got the four of wands here and you've got the Hierophant. The angel spirit, guys, what else do we need? No, too many cards, thank you. Just give me one or two. Okay, so that's what's that. I feel that the top line is what's been happening with you. So, okay, we'll take these two because they come out twice Page of Wands and Two of Wands, Two of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles, I swear, this Knight of Pentacles has been in every single reading so far. So, with the Four of Wands, it's the Four of Wands about harmony and union. I think you are going to find harmony in this relate in this situation again. Whether that is with your person, and you give it another chance, you 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 learn to forgive, and you start moving forward, you start building up this this relationship again, and it turns into a very harmonious relationship. Not for everybody, okay? This is just for some people, but I know that it happens because I've seen it happen. That sometimes when someone deceives someone, it actually is like a blessing in disguise because it makes the relationship better. That's not for me personally, but for some people it can. So that might resonate with you, it might not. Um, if it's not with the person, I feel that when you let this person go, you are going to find harmony within yourself. You're going to find peace. You're going to be able to go out with your friends and celebrate just being you again. Um, the Hierophant card is about um, a, your spirituality. And I feel like you need to have... Um, I feel that some of you may have been going through a spiritual awakening. Usually spiritual awakenings do kind of, they do happen when you go through some kind of pain. So you might be going through a spiritual awakening at the moment. This Hierophant card is also about traditions and, um, and rules and, and the, the, the usual way of doing things. Um, maybe, obviously this isn't a usual way of doing things if someone's hurt you. And this is what's led you to a spiritual awakening. I don't feel this is anything to do with marriage or anything like that. I think this is, this person has really hurt you. And I think you're going to have a spiritual awakening. Or you're going for a spiritual awakening. But for some of you, it might lead to marriage. So, so some of you, if you've learned to, if you want to get back with this person and you want to forgive and you want to work on this relationship and it ends up being a blessing in disguise and a good relationship and it could lead to marriage, it could be very traditional, it could be um, like the rules and all that kind of stuff. It could lead towards something uh, much more special for you, but it's your free will of what you choose to do. You've also got the page of wands here. So the page of wands is... Um, about being a bit more of a free spirit, about kind of going with the flow and taking things as it is. I feel that if you want to get back with your person after this this pain that they may have caused, I feel that you need to um, literally wipe the slate clean and start again uh, and start having more fun. 
Um, if we decide to walk away from this person, I feel that you are just going to be more um, free. You're going to feel free. You're going to start doing things differently. You're going to start living your life in a different way. Um, and then you're going to have all this new inspiration coming towards you and places you want to go and people you want to go and see. Um, maybe like living the life that you give up for your person. You're going to start doing that again. And then you're going to start this whole new discovery of you. Um, so it depends on which way you want to go. So you need to make a choice. The two of Swords, you've got to make that choice. You've got your blindfold on and your hands tied and you're not really seeing what, what the reality of all of this is. And I feel that to make this decision about whether you want to go back to your, your person or whether you want to move forward alone, you need to take that blindfold off and really see the cold hard facts of what's going on. Um, so that you can make that decision that you that you want and you need to listen to your intuition but if you go into if you go back with this person you go in blind it's going to end up in heartache so you need to take the blindfold off you've also got the knight of pentacles as well the knight of pentacles is about um being productive so i feel that if you take this person back you need to be productive and you need to work hard at it you need to work hard at this relationship. Um, like you need to plant seeds in the relationship and walk together. The Knight of Pentacles walks very, very slowly. It's not a fast action moving card. And I feel that if you do go back to your person and you try it one more time, then you need to go very, very slowly. You can't rush it and go back to how it was before. It needs to be a completely different uh, relationship and you need to both of you need to work hard at it um, if you don't want to go to walk back to this person I feel that you just need to take steps moving forward but take your time take your time don't rush anything just take your time okay so angel spirit guys send our final messages for our lovely um, Leos please final messages for our lovely Leos please what do they need to know about their love life what do they okay got that then the world wow that's good so i feel that the top row is what has been happening so far the middle row is what's about to happen next like now like re really in the present moment or in the extremely near future next week or so and then the bottom one's going to be your future so in okay wow Knight of Pentacles again. That's twice. One more card, please, for our lovely Leos. I know one flipped. Where are you? <gasps> and oh, interesting. Okay, so the first card you got was the world. You are going to feel free in whichever direction you decide to take. You are going to feel free if you could go on your own. Or this weight is going to be lifted. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to hurt? Probably. That's, that's, that's the way it works. But it is like this this whole situation is come to its full completion. Whether that is like, right, we've come to our complete, it's like now or never, we either make it work or we end it now. And you go for it with this person or it's like you walk away from it and you start all over again. You start again. And now you're gonna feel free. You're gonna feel more fulfilled. You're gonna feel lighter. And that gives you the opportunity for someone new to come in but it's your choice of what you want to do. Again, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Things need to move slowly and you need to work at it. Whether you go um, on your own or with your person, if you're with your person, you need to work on it together. One can't do the work. You can't keep giving and giving and then take and take and take. It needs to be mutual. You need to give and take equally to be able to let this relationship work properly. Okay, and it needs to be slow moving. Don't rush anything. If you're going to go out on your own and just walk away from this situation altogether, then you need to go slowly and heal the wounds that have been caused you. Because then you're going to be walking towards something new. So with the Knight of Pentacles, you're going to be moving towards something new and that is going to come in fast. Even though you've got to take it slow for your own being, Things are going to change quite quickly. So if you're with someone, it could be a completely different relationship and it moves quickly, but it's sustainable. Um, if you walk away from it, your life's going to change pretty quickly because you're lighter, because you're not carrying the burdens with you anymore. So your life just changes because you're doing things for you, but you're taking time to heal your wounds at the same time. 
So, so there is going to be movement in your life and it's going to come quite quickly, but just make sure that you're moving slowly enough to take care of yourself. Because on the bottom of the deck, we've got justice. So any wrongdoing that you've had put towards you, any heartbreak, any pain that was caused, caused, caused for you, they're going to get their justice. They've seen the pain that you've gone through. They've seen the tears that you've been crying. They've seen... They've heard things and seen things that you haven't and now they're to rule. So you are going to get the justice. You're going to get your truth, the real truth that you are seeking and things are going to be made fair. That's what the justice card, things are finally going to be made fair. Okay, so let's get um, our final card. So ask the angels for a question. Any question you want could be about the cards on the table or it could be uh, something completely different. And we'll ask our answer angel oracle card deck for the answer. If you're not sure of your question, feel free to hit pause while you think of one. So angel spirit guides, what's the answer to our lovely Leo's question, please? What's the answer to our lovely Leo's question, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's go and pick those up. Okay, so we had five fall out. So all five fell out for you. So let's have a look what we got. So the first card is opportunity. So opportunity is going to be coming towards you. And that's with the... Oh, which one was that? You are going to have opportunities coming towards you. So keep an eye out for the opportunities. Um, the next card was yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Simple. Short and simple. If you believe, if you believe in something enough and you feel it, then you're going to manifest it into your life. Perfect timing. Everything comes in perfect divine timing. And all the things that you're going through now is for you to learn, grow and evolve into the person that you need to be. So the perfect timing can happen for you and communicate clearly. Whatever it is that you need to communicate, communicate clearly. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got compromise. So I feel there's an answer in there for everybody. If you want to give it a never go, there's answers. If you want to walk away, there's answers as well. Opportunity and perfect timing for those who want to uh, go out, go off on their own. Um, and then if you believe, communicate clearly and compromise. And even the yes card be for both of them if you want to give it another chance. So it's all free will, it's all your choice, whatever you want to do. That's all I've got for today, my lovely Leo. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it. If anything resonated with you, then please do drop a comment in the comment box below. I read and reply to every single one of my comments. So I love to connect with you. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do them daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every weekend and yours comes out every Saturday at 2 p.m. It will also really help grow my channel, which is something I'm trying hard to do. And I want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers so far. I know I haven't got many, but I'm growing it and I really do appreciate it. And every time I get a new subscriber, my son and I, who's only five, has a little happy dance. So thank you for bringing a little bit of joy into our lives as well. I really do appreciate it. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.